Let's review the concepts explicit relationship and implicit relationship. So let's say that I have two variables x and y. If it is the case that y is determined as some function of x, for example, y could be your age measured in days while x is your age measured in years. Then we say that there is an explicit relationship between these two variables. We say that x explains y. Or we can say that we have an explicit relationship in y. For example, we could have something like y is equal to x squared. Simply means that if I know the value of the x variable, I can easily calculate the value of the y variable. We can also have an explicit relationship in the reverse. So I could have x as a function of y instead. It will still be called an explicit relationship, but in this case, it is an explicit relationship in x. If I know the value of y in this case, I can easily calculate x. An implicit relationship, on the other hand, imposes a relationship or a restriction on these two variables. But it does not immediately allow you to find the value of one variable once you know the other. So here is a simple example. x plus y is equal to 10. This is an implicit relationship since x and y are no longer free to take any arbitrary value. If x takes the value 6, y must take the value 4, and so on. In some cases, but not all cases, we can take an implicit relationship and convert it into an explicit one. This is such an example. If I want to make this explicit in y, for example, I simply solve it for y by moving x over to the other side. So y is 10 minus x. Now we made it explicit in y. We can also make it explicit in x by moving y to the other side and writing x is equal to 10 minus y. However, not all implicit relationships can be converted into an explicit one. Here's another example, x squared plus y squared is equal to one. This is called the equation of the circle and the reason is simply that all points along a circle of radius 1 will satisfy this relationship. However, in this case, I cannot make this explicit in either y or x. The reason for that is simply, if I have an x value such as this x value, then there are two different y values that will satisfy this implicit relationship. That means that, given an x value, I cannot find a single y value since there are two of them, which will work. Let's go back to the budget. Say that P1 is 2 and P2 is 3 and our income is 6, so this is the equation of the budget line. Total expenditure equal to total income. This is a relationship with two variables and it is an implicit relationship since we have a mix of both variables on the left hand side. However, this is an implicit relationship that we can easily make explicit because it's linear in both variables. To make it explicit in x2, for example, simply move 2x1 over on the left hand side. We have 3x2 equal to 6 minus 2x1, and divide both sides by 3, then we have x2 equal to 2 minus 2 thirds x1. Now we have x2 only in one position, and that's on the left hand side. So this is an explicit relationship in x2. Once I know x1, I can just plug it into this relationship and find x2. So why is this important? Well, if I want to make a graph of the budget line, 
then it's way easier to do that once you have an explicit relationship compared to having an implicit one. Here, for example, I can see that x2 is a linear function of x1, so I can draw this very simply. Put x1 here, x2 here. I see that this is a linear a function with an intercept of 2, so I put 2 here. The slope is minus 2 thirds, so when x1 is 3, x2 will be precisely 0, so it'll be a straight line like this with a slope of minus 2 thirds. It's much more difficult to see that this is the budget line if you only have the implicit relationship between the variables. You can, of course, also make this an explicit relationship in x1, and then you move 3x2 over to the other side and divide by 2, and we have 3 minus 3 over 2x2. If you want to draw this relationship, then make x1 your y-axis and x2 your x-axis. So instead of using specific numbers for prices and income, let's use general notation. So in general notation, the total expenditure is P1x1 plus P2x2, and that must be equal to the income, which is denoted by M. This is an implicit relationship in the x1, x2 variables. To make it explicit in x2, for example, move this term over to the left. We have p2, x2, m minus p1, x1, and divide both sides by p2. x2 equal to m over p2 minus p1 over p2 times x1. This is an explicit relationship in x2. To make it explicit in x1, we do similar thing. p1 x1 equal to m minus p2 x2. Move x2 over to the other side. Divide by p1. And we have m over p1 minus p2 over p1 x2.